Xavier Wills, RX Muscle Australia. I'm he here with Trevor Hooney, the winner of the overall at the 2012 IMBA Nationals. Trevor, how many have you won now? I know you've won a few. Yeah, this is my fourth uh, overall in Australia, and um, yeah, I've, I think I've been lucky for me to uh, compete in the, uh, the Nationals because, uh, yeah, I've won it four times in, in a row pretty much every time I've been on stage. Yeah. Between you and Janet Kane, you've won eight uh, Mr. Mr. and Mrs. Yeah. Australia's now because she won four as well. Um, how do you feel obviously winning that fourth uh, Mr. Australia? Because you obviously, you got the thick, dense muscle obviously that got you over guys like Ben Wortley and um, and obviously the Class 1 winner. Yeah. How does it feel beating guys like that? Uh, yeah, oh, those guys, man, they, yeah, it, with me, they look like they just come like skin thin, like their skin is so thin. We all got to like... My, my skin might be thick and they just look really dry or their muscles just yeah it's freaky you know it's, it's always hard for me you know the judges you don't know which way the judges are going to go you know i've got good muscles big muscles but and i've got good symmetry you know but these guys they're coming up they've got you know that dry thin skin look and it's it's hard it's, it's hard i gotta i gotta work extra hard because for me it's, size is easy but for them you know leanness is easy so we're pretty much stuck halfway, you know. They've got their goods, and I've got my good side. So, yeah. When you see them backstage, do you even being as good as you are and you're as winning, you know, Mister Australia's and stuff, do you get like intimidated at all? Do you think, oh shit, like I'm in trouble here? You know, when you see them? Oh, definitely, mate. When you see these guys on stage and you're waiting to walk up next to thing, geez, do I look that good? Do I look as good as they go? Because geez, he looks, he's pretty good, and. Um, yeah, it's it's interesting, you know. You, you don't really know how you look really till you get up beside them, and um, yeah, sometimes I see them, and then you know I think, man, I don't think I'll be able to beat them. And then when you get up next to them, I might look all right next to them, and maybe they might look a little bit better sometimes. But if I can outpose them, you know, that's that's another win for me, you know. So sometimes it's not just conditioning and not muscles and symmetry; it's posing as well, man. That, that can be a big big factor because if you've got good muscles in your lean and you don't know how to pose man, you know it's a waste of time you probably lose two places you know just in that so posing too you know i like to practice posing and just nice flowing so yeah that's probably my other goal that i try to look to you know because i know my condition maybe won't be the best out of everyone but i know my muscles in symmetry and so i've got to try and get something else to to get up you know get up on these guys because uh yeah they're definitely pushing me you know Yep. Now, what keeps you coming back to bodybuilding? Because you seem to disappear. No one hears you from you for a while. I know I don't hear about you, you know, coming into the show. And then you just show up and obviously shock everyone. What keeps you coming back to it? Mate, you know, surprising thing, you know, those last two years that I, have, I haven't been on stage, I was actually the day before the show on a Saturday or Friday and um, I'd be in hospital because um, I'd be dehydrated and, yeah, I'd just pass out. The missus would bring the ambos and i just push my body that that. That's probably the worst thing with bodybuilding is it just takes a little bit for your body to pretty much pass out and then everything's gone. You, you've lost everything. So, yeah, the last two years of just uh, just de just too dehydrated and just my my salts when I went to the doc uh, hospital and they've um, pumped some fluid back into me, you know. And then after that, you, you don't really want to go on stage if you've got three bags of fluid, you know for three litres in your body because that's the main thing we do when we get up on stage is you got to try and get the uh, water out of the body so you can look a bit dry and make you look lean so yeah that's it. that's the only reason i have been uh, training for the last two years getting ready preparing for the show it's just that that last obstacle the last week or couple of days i've been in hospital because of that that's all i've done is put salt in my diet i've never had salt and um put some sugars like just natural sugars like uh, apples and yeah here I am today, mate. And now I understand my body a, a little bit better, so I think you'll be seeing me on stage every year now. I won't be having any years off. Excellent. So we can see a bit more than four uh, Mr. Australia's in the cabinet. Uh, f fingers crossed, mate. You know, that, that, that's the goal every year, you know, is to try and, try and get the big one and um, go represent Australia overseas and, yeah, see how we go over there, get the, the gold over there, hopefully. Do you have any more shows coming up? I know you mentioned something about yeah, if your wife allows you to. Is there any more um, shows on the horizon for you this year? Uh, maybe in three weeks. They've got, they got the Olympia over in Nevada and she's a teacher. And if she can get some time off, I, I will go over. But if not, yeah, I'll probably have to give it a give it a miss because, um, yeah, mate, you can, I can't do this on my own. You know, she helps me with my tan, food. So, yeah, if she can't get holidays, we can't go over. So maybe try and plan it for next year if we can and um, yeah, hit it hard next year. Yep, sure. Now, would you like to hit a few shots for us for the camera?
crazy, man. You look so good. That's Trevor Hooney, the overall Mr. Australia winner at the 2012 IMBA Nationals. Xavier Wills, RX Muscle Australia.